very much. Jack Rice now, criminal defense attorney, former Minnesota state prosecutor, and, and former officer as well. Jack, thank you. Y you've tried cases in this very courthouse. Explain to our viewers how what happens with jury selection could really affect the outcome of this trial. Well, Shep, it's everything, because if you get the right people in the room, they're going to do what you want. At the end of the day, if you're prosecuting, you want to get the people who are going to convict. And I dare I say it, if you're defending, you want to allow your guy to walk. And if you have the right people, you can do it. Yeah, but who are the right people? <laughs> you know, that's the real problem here, right? I mean, how do you bring in people who are not biased in this case? If you look at what's happened in the last year, it's been incredible. Not just what happened on May 25th, but literally the almost 2,000 buildings that were burned, the people who were arrested by the thousands, and people who also died. They all lived here. They all lived through that. And those are the people who are supposed to be the jurors. Jury selection is expected to last for weeks. The defense has already tried to change the venue on this trial. Break down each side's strategy going forward, if you could. You bet. The defense wanted to move this out of Minneapolis. Minneapolis is probably the most diverse city in the state, and they really wanted it out in an area that, frankly, looked a lot more like Derek Chauvin because they're going to see Derek Chauvin and maybe connect with Derek Chauvin. They really are going to try to make the argument that Derek Chauvin didn't kill George Floyd. George Floyd died of an overdose and that Derek Chauvin was doing what he was supposed to do. And he used a technique that was accepted by the Minneapolis Police Department. The prosecutor's We've office. We've heard this frankly, over. Yeah. I'm sorry. We've heard this overdose thing on right wing media, but I've never known where it came from. Do you know where that came from? Well, originally, there were actually two uh, medical examiner's reports, and there was reference to fentanyl actually being in his system. The problem is, is that wasn't what actually killed them, but there were references to it. And so you're going to find the defense try to use that argument. I think it may not work because what the prosecutor's office will do is they're going to use that videotape early and often, yeah. eight minutes and 46 seconds. You're going to show it at the beginning, you're going to show it at the end, and you're going to hope a jury wants to see it when they're in deliberations. You know, one of the key witnesses for the prosecution is said to be the police chief. How could he deal a serious blow to the defense's argument of Chauvin's actions? Well, in this case, uh, Chief Arredondo wants to separate Derek Chauvin from the Minneapolis Police Department to say that he does not represent who what, who we are, and the, the way he applied this technique is not how people were trained to do it. And so they're really going to try to build a wall. As you can imagine, Chauvin's response will be, I just did what I was taught to do, what I was trained to do. Jury selection begins tomorrow. We'll have coverage here tomorrow night. Jack, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.